Hello my amazing Jeju School artists, welcome back to another week with art. I'm so excited that I get to talk to you guys today and I bet you're all sitting there wondering what on earth was that video all about Mrs. Dobson? Well, that video was an amazing example of the kind of art that we're going to be learning this term. It's a really big word but I want you to try and say it after me. Ready? Surrealism. 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 Awesome. Do you remember last time we learned about the fancy French artist Claude Monet and he was all about impressionism which was about nature and outside and beautiful colors. Well surrealism has beautiful colors as well but it's quite different. It's weird, it's wacky, it's kind of like the things that you see in the movies which I think you guys are going to find super interesting. So we learned about Monet last term, but this term we are learning about a new artist whose name is Salvador Dali. This guy, right here. He was super weird and wacky, look at his crazy moustache. People were blown away just by looking at him, and his paintings had the same effect. Now he was born in 1904 in Spain, and his paintings had never been seen before the style that he created. They blew everyone's minds. Surreal paintings like these ones are paintings that are look they look like they are real but they're not. So I've got a quick way that will help you memorize what surrealism is all about. So <clears throat> surrealism is all of the art that looks real but isn't real. It looks like it's in a dream and it blows our mind. Good job. So, surrealism is all the art that looks real but isn't real. It looks like it's in our dreams and it blows our mind. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to do a painting that looks real but isn't real. Looks like it could be a dream and it'll blow your mind. If you don't have paints at home, that's okay. You can use colored pencils and texts to color it in. But we are going to do a painting inspired by one of Salvador Dali's crazy paintings. Are you excited? Let's go. So, this is a painting that we are going to be inspired by. Check out how crazy and long the elephant legs are. Does that happen in real life? No. So we know it's real because it looks like it could be real, but it's not. The colors are super bright and crazy. Maybe not as bright as it would be in real life as well. So we are going to do some animals with really long legs, with some really bright colors, and I'm very excited about it. Let's give it a go. Wow, this is the artwork we are going to create today. We are going to do three crazy birds with their long legs, just like Salvador Dali. Looks like it could be a dream. This blows my mind. So we know that it's a surreal artwork. I'm very excited for you to give this a go. Alrighty, so here we go. What you're going to need for this art project is a pencil and an eraser if you feel like you'll need it. You'll also need a black texture or a permanent marker. You could also use a black pencil if mum and dad don't want you using a marker, that's fine. Um, for coloring our artwork in, you can use whatever you want. You can use crayons or pencils or textures. I'm using these. These are my watercolor paints. Mum and dad might have some of these at home or you might have some regular paint. That's fine too. So if you're going to use watercolors or in regular paint, you will as well need some paint brushes and some water. Now let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We need to start working on the design for our artwork. So to do that, we're going to take our piece of paper and make sure it is in the portrait direction. So that just means that it's long and skinny and stretching up to the sky. You can't see the whole thing on my camera, but I'm just gonna move it around so you can see the top and the bottom all right. Now, you're gonna need to remember that we are doing an artwork of birds with really long, crazy legs. So, the very first step is to draw three ovals up at the top of our page, and they are going to be the bodies for our birds. So, one, two, three. And it'd be kind of fun if they're a bit of a weird shape, it'd be fun if they're different kind of shapes, and at different heights as well, just to make it a bit interesting. So I've got the three bodies for our birds. We are going to start designing each one. And you can do it however you want, but this is how I'm going to do it. On this bird, I'm going to draw the eye. So I'm gonna draw a nice oval, kind of close to the edge of the bird, with a eyeball in the middle. I'm then going to give him a beak, and to do the beak, you just do two pointed ovals like that. 
Now I'm going to give him some feathers coming off his head. So I'm going to kind of make them look a bit crazy by drawing some lines with some circles coming off the top. I'm then going to draw his wing and I'm going to make it a little wavy line like that. Then all you do to finish it off is you connect one end to the other like this. Easy. Now I'm going to give him a little tail and I'm just going to draw some lines coming out from the back of his body. So one, done. Nice and easy. That's bird number one. How easy was that? For number two, let's mix it up a little bit. And you can choose whatever designs you want. On top of this bird's head, I am going to give them some crazy feather mohawk. So, you just draw some squiggly lines over the top of this bird. Awesome, I'm gonna make him facing this way. So I'm gonna draw his eyeball up the top with an oval, nice big eye for this bird, and color in his eyeball. Now we're gonna do a big, just like last time. So one hoop, two hoops, done. Now for the wing of this bird, I'm going to draw a C shape. And then just like the mohawk, I'm gonna connect with a wavy line like that. Give him a tail, one, two, three, done. Next bird. On top of this bird, I'm gonna give them a crown because I think they look really cool. And remember, this is surrealism, so it doesn't have to look like birds actually look in real life. So let's go with a crown. So you draw two lines and then a zigzag in the middle. And I'm even going to put some jewels on the top of the crown. Awesome. Now my bird's gonna face this way, so my eyeball's gonna be up here. Color in the eyeball, another little beak, so you know how to do it. One hoop, two hoop, done. Now for the tail, I'm just gonna do something really easy. I'm going to do an oval going this way, but we're not gonna finish it off. Then we're going to do some feathers, so one, two, three, easy. Now if you want, you could add some eyebrows or eyelashes, just by drawing some little lines along the side to give your birds a little bit of variation. Awesome. Now we're going to draw the really long legs. So I'm just going to move my page up a little bit. All we're going to do is draw some lines coming all the way down to the bottom of the page. Remember, birds have two legs. So over here, I'm going to draw some zigzag legs starting at the top. I'm just going to zigzag all my way to the bottom of the page, which is a little bit of space at the bottom. I'm going to draw another zigzag leg. That. And it's cool if they don't look exactly the same. This bird, because I've got a squiggly head, I'm going to give them squiggly legs too. So let's draw some squiggles going all the way down. Awesome. Now this bird, let's give him long straight legs but with wonky knees. So all you do for that one, start at the top, straight line, straight line, and then you go out and do one zigzag. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, and then you zigzag and down. Now. The final thing I'm going to do to finish off their legs is to give them dots on where the lines bend, just because it makes it look a little bit more interesting and finished off. On this bird as well, dot, 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 dot. Awesome, but not on this one because I don't have any sharp edges. The final thing we're going to do is add some feet. The feet are really easy. They're just going to do a little three-pronged line. So we just go one, two, three. One, two, three. And see how I'm making them curved? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there you have it, my crazy long-legged birds. What you could do is you can do your bird designs completely differently. You could give them all crowns if you want to. You can change the way you do the beak. You could give them different eyes, give them crazy faces. I would love to see how you make this artwork your own. This is how I did it, and it's up to you if you want to copy or if you want to mix it up and make it interesting. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to use my paints to go ahead and color this in.
done and all dry, now my final step is going to be taking my permanent marker or my black texture or my black pencil and going over all my lines and outlining my shapes. Let's go. Alrighty, it's all done. Time to take a look. I think it looks really cool. We have our three birds with all their crazy legs inspired by Salvador Dali because it looks like it comes out of a dream. But it's crazy long legs just like the elephants and I hope you had so much fun. Don't forget to post your artwork on our Seesaw page or our Class Dojo page and I really can't wait to hear all about how you learned this artwork. I will see you later. Bye.